Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the MF Kit Build, taking a great kit guitar and making it awesome. Thank you very much for watching up to this point. I hope you enjoy the series. Uh, if you're in July, you can, July 2018, you can win the guitar. Go to the description below to see how. Um, and uh, let us know in the comments what you think, please. But without further ado, adieu, without ado, we don't want extra moisture in the guitar. See, I was trying to keep that uh, succinct and quick and to the point, and all I do is start talking about random things like dew. <sighs> Let's get on with building this guitar, shall we? No, wait. I'm filming the intro and I've got the 90 hour build on my bench. It's the wrong guitar. No. I've been toying. I, I've been uncertain as to where to go with this and in which order to do it. Uh, so, well, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I have just finalized the carve, the internal carve. I've tidied up the, uh, um, the sound holes just a little bit. The edges are all a little bit tidy, although that one needs to be sorted still. Uh, I am going to I am going to now, I'm going to do the next little bit of carving. I want to delineate the edges and make that a little bit more 3D. And then after that, it's to the insides. I am not going to sand this perfectly flat. I actually like the look of the foil on top of the rough carved surface. It actually looks really cool. Um, so that's, 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 that's next. How many that's did I put into that? Oh no, it's carrying on. Okay, I said that one needed to be sorted. Onwards. There we go. So I've got a couple of extra holes that have been marked out. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna do those ones. I am not gonna do that one. 
I might do these two on the on the edge if I can't scrape away the scoring that I've already done uh, I will cut the holes but uh, if I can I think I'm actually quite happy with that now the issue is um, if I go in there it just makes this far too weak and it, it's not good enough the rest of this is actually fairly solid um, now once I've got something glued on the inside as well well and that it's gonna be perfectly fine so uh, <laughs> I need to figure out what I'm going to do inside now. Fun times. Okay. All right, let the fun begin. I have done a little bit of experimentation and uh, essentially, I cut little strips of the tin foil. What I want to have is uh, foil in the, on the inside, but not on the chamfers. And uh, yeah, so those will be sanded down and cleaned after a bit. I am using the fantastic, the inimitable, the fantastically cool Mod Podge. Um, I kind of actually want to know why it's called Mod Podge. Uh, yeah, anyway, hold on. Little brush, give me a brush. Here we go. So, glue. Now, I tried a couple of different uh, techniques. Not that any of you are actually really gonna do this, are you? Uh, but anyway, applying the glue directly to the foil is the best way. And that goes in there. Tear a bit off. Rinse and repeat. Now there is another, there is another option for this, and that is uh, just aluminium tape that's already got a, uh, an adhesive backing on it. It's just fiddly stuff to use. So essentially I'm making sure everything is covered. It's got a good layer of glue on it. The glue isn't spurging onto the uh, sides where I don't want it. And then once that's in, make sure it's in place. It doesn't actually take too long to cure. Now I have somewhere, there we go. This is a little uh, agate burnisher. And it's from, well, it is actually uh, a gold leafing tool, really, uh, and among other things. And I'm just burnishing down, making sure that it's, there's no gaps or anything like that. And there we go. Rinse and repeat, like 30 times. Are you underwhelmed? I'm ever so slightly underwhelmed. And that's quite exciting because the payoff when it comes is gonna be insane. Okay, I've, I've completely changed my mind. Um, instead of leaving the bevels or the chamfers um, as wood, I'm gonna be doing this. And once it's dried, that will be burnished down and essentially what these are actually going to look like are, well, basically alloy sound holes inlaid into, uh, into the wood. It's that whole dichotomy of uh, shiny, shiny metal with natural, natural wood. I don't know why I repeated those two words like that. It sounds weird. This is gonna look so damn cool! Aha! Um, anyway, so yeah. I'm, uh, I'm still in progress and still going. I'm, I'm fiddling about with, with Mod Podge and getting totally covered in glue. I found myself wanting to paint my finger and then take finger, fingerprints off. Um, 
And basically, I feel like I'm playing around at kindergarten or something. But, you know, is that a bad thing? I don't think that's a bad thing. So essentially we're going all the way around now. And just building up a little bit of a layer. This has the added benefit of giving a little bit more strength to each of these uh, little struts, which is uh, an added benefit. See, I repeated the word added benefit as well. I love this. Once the glue has cured, I will be able to burnish it down even more um, and get a sort of flatter, more, uh, more homogenous look to it. But I'm still, I'm not going for perfect. If I wanted perfect, I would have uh, sand, well, tried to get that perfectly flat in there. I'm after a, a sort of a beaten up robot kind of look. This is, this is cyberpunk with a little bit of uh, steampunk ethic. It's, it's, it's not a brand new Tron-esque um, guitar. It's, it's, a, it's a used and uh, enjoyed um, cyberpunk guitar. Come on then. I just did a little dance. I don't know why. I really am getting absolutely covered. Hi, how you doing? Almost done. <sighs> well, almost done th this bit. Do you want to see what it's going to look like? Put that down. Let's scrape that. Let's see. Oh no. I'll have to repair that bit in a bit. Now, this is going to take a little bit more work than just. Ah! Yeah, no. Scraper's not doing it. Um, I'm going to wait for that to cure a little bit longer, i.e., a couple of days. Well, 
I'm going to leave that to dry for a while. <laughs> Thank you for watching the build. I hope you're finding this elucidating and interesting. Why am I using the word elucidating so much at the moment? It's the word of the week. There we go. Uh, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Follow our Instagram, at Crimson Guitars, and uh, all of these various other bits and pieces. We're on Facebook. Who's not on Facebook? If you hate Facebook, comment below. Um, I, I will be one of the first people to comment. The only reason I have it is because of the business. Anyway, um, please, if the next video is live, well, go and watch that. Binge your heart out. If not, if the next video is not live, then you run the chance to win this guitar. Uh, check the links below. Go to crimsonguitars.com and uh, you can, you can well, enter into our competition. Thanks for watching. See you soon. See you soon. No, wait. You'll see me soon. I won't see you. Stalker. <laughs> I don't know.